So how did Hannibal Barca use the Roman political system against itself? Well, allow me to explain. In my latest history video, I talked about the Battle of Cannae, arguably one of the worst defeats that Rome ever faced in its entire existence, and this came as a result entirely of its own system. You see, for the day and age, Rome had a very interesting republican government system. Individuals would be elected to certain positions within the government, and then they would work said position for a set term limit, which was different for each position. The shortest term and the most prestigious one was the consul, the person who would control the military, of which you would have two people that were elected to this position each year. And yes, you probably heard it right there, but they had a one-year term limit. What this meant was that if you were elected to this position in a highly militarized society like Rome, you only had one year to achieve enough military glory to sustain the rest of your political career. And this naturally made the people that achieved that position very aggressive, which in turn made it very easy to bait and lead them into traps. Hannibal knew this, and that is precisely what he did here.